In this system, we want to find the transient response to a pulse load. That means that we have a step function, but it goes only to capital T. The governing equation of this system that is composed only by a spring and a mass, and if we take a x measured from the equilibrium position, we can ignore the weight because it will cancel out with the static deflection of the system. And my governing equation will be mass time acceleration plus constant of the spin time k equals to the force applied to the system. This force is a piecewise function. It will be equals to f sub zero for t greater than zero and less than capital T. And it will be zero for all t at all times greater than capital T. To solve our system, we will use the convolution integral, which is defined as the response will be the integral from zero to t of the function evaluated in tau times h t minus tau, the de tau. And h is the response to a impulse. Please see the narrated lectures and the formula sheet this is the solution of an input for an undamped system, where zeta is equal to zero. The response. We will have a response that is also piecewise as the function. The first response that we will find will be valid for times greater than zero and less than capital T. The response will be 1 over m omega n, the integral, f, f evaluated in tau is f sub 0 because it's a constant force, and then I have sine evaluated in t minus tau, the de tau. This integral, f sub 0 can be taken out of the integral, and the, the integral of sine is a negative cosine, and is divided by the internal derivative, which is negative omega n, because tau is negative. And I will evaluate that between 0 and t. Remember, this t is time generic between, and it can take any value from 0 to capital T. When I apply the limits of integration, I have t minus t, and then I have t minus 0 t minus t will give me 0, which is cosine of 0 is equal to 1. And then the final response for all times greater than 0 and less than capital T will have the form of f sub 0 over m omega n squared bracket 1 minus cosine omega n t. Now we have to do the response for the times greater than capital T. And now the integrals will be very similar. What it changes is the limits of integration. Right now we have that from 0 to capital T, we have the function f sub 0. So we have the same integrals as before with different in, uh, limits of integration plus. Now we have that the function between a capital T and any other time beyond capital T, the function is equal to zero. So that integral will be equal to zero. Now let's evaluate that integral back with different limits of integration. So we have that is the same result, negative cosine omega t minus tau divided by negative omega n and the uh, limits of the integration is 0 to capital T. And that gives me that this is equal to f sub 0 divided by m omega n square in brackets cosine of the two negative values cancel out but I have omega t minus capital T minus omega n t. Now I have two cosine functions. And this is the response 
when I have a time greater than capital T. As you see, even though the force is equal to zero, I still have a response because the system received a perturbation that creates a response even beyond when the force is not longer there. We can also write our response if we convert m times omega n squared as k, we can say that our response is equals to from t greater than zero and less than capital T, the response will be f sub zero over k, which as you recall is the static deflection, one minus cosine omega t. And for times greater than capital T, the response will be equals to f sub zero over k cosine of t minus capital T minus cosine of omega t. And this represents the solution of this problem.